So then the guy named Jesse Lee Peterson, John will give you more detail, he pickles us every year called the repudiation of Jesse Jackson Day. That's what he does. Supported by the right wing and all of his maneuvers. And she came to one of our meetings and he was disorderly, uh, called me a woman and a sissy, trying to provoke a reaction, which we did not go for, fortunately. Accused Judge Mathis and Johnson of, uh, of attacking him. Did not happen. No witnesses. This was December 01. It's now, it's January 06. Been a five year ordeal and a jury trial. We finally won the trial yesterday. But no, that's not the real, the real deal is who's involved in this? Judicial Watch, the same lawyers that did Hillary and the Rose law firm case. Hannity was on his board. O'Reilly was his first outlet. Judicial Watch is their law firm. This is the infrastructure of the giant right wing designed to disrupt, discredit, and destroy. We were charged this past week, and this has been a pursuit of going on for four years, and they've spent millions of dollars. They took it into civil court. We were charged, me separately, my father, and the organization, on assault, one count for the Reverend Jesse L. Jackson, one count of battery for the Reverend Jesse L. Jackson, one count of intentional emotional distress presented by the Reverend Jesse L. Jackson, false imprisonment by Reverend Jesse L. Jackson, and the Ralph Acts violation by the Reverend Jesse L. Jackson, same for me and same for the Rainbow Coalition. Their lead plaintiff described our actions in our meeting at the Rainbow meeting in Los Angeles as a Klan-like rally. The Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson says that blacks lack of moral character, not all blacks, but most blacks lack of moral character holds us back. This man, Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, said that W.E.B. Du Bois is a communist and a pig. This man, Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, he has a book, and in one of his books, he has a chapter written that says, why black women are so mean. <laughs> this man, Reverend Jesse Peterson, says that if all whites were to leave America in 10 years, Black folk would turn America into a ghetto. This is the man, the right Reverend Jesse Jackson had to defend himself against because of the right wing's money propping him up. We're gonna finish in the book of Daniel in just one more minute. This man then came back and says he had to change his statement because it was inaccurate about blacks turning the United States of America in a get, into a ghetto in 10 years. He says in light of what he saw in the aftermath of Katrina, he now knows from what he could see at the Superdome, blacks would turn the United States of America into a ghetto if all whites left in three days. Now, forget him, because he is who he is. And now he's exposed. Sean Hannity. And here's what you need to teach your children about art. Just don't look at the background, look at the foreground. Just don't look at what's in the frame, think about what they left out of the frame. Thank you God, we can see the foreground and the background in the whole frame. Sean Hannity is in there. O'Reilly is his friend, he said on testimony. Sean Hannity is his board member. The gentleman that wrote Shakedown congratulates him for his efforts. Judicial Watch props him up. They spent five years and millions of dollars. Black men facing these hostile courts on Monday morning, our prayers go out to you. Hold your head up, straighten up, Act right, tighten it up. Some people have some very strong opinions about us. We won this battle, you can win your battle. Reverend
Chairman, I'm proud to have stood with you then, proud to stand with you now. I'm proud to be a Jackson. I know who you are, Hannity. I know who you are, O'Reilly. We're not giving up. You're not going to win. God is on our side. Truth and victory won over your lives.